Today we're going to take a look at zip ties again, and this time these are the ones by Griplock Ties, and they're a little bit different, so we'll uh, tear open the package and uh, show you the differences in them. So there's a couple of features on these Griplock Ties that make them unique. First is they're rubber lined, so that rubber lining is there to protect the cable, so in their mind you don't have to crank the zip tie down really tight and potentially cut into wire or whatever it is you're trying to lock down. Uh, the other thing is they're reusable, so you can lock them down. If you don't cut the little tab off uh, at the end, you can pull it back and release the tie so you can adjust or shift or add more wires or, or whatever to the bundle. Um, those two things are fairly unique. Um, there's other ties out there that do something similar, but the way these are applied are certainly a little bit different, so we'll take a look at both. One thing I notice about these ties right away is they're a little bulky. They're a little hard to maneuver around for whatever reason. I think that rubber lining uh, kind of slows things down going through the, the locking part of the tie. So um, you have to kind of wrench on a little bit, but not too overly complicated. But if you want the wires inside to lock themselves down, you really have to kind of put a little grunt behind it. The other thing is when you try to release this little plastic clip, uh, the first time I, too, I tried it, sticking my thumb in there and grabbing it with a thumbnail, well, yeah, it jammed right up in there and uh, kind of poked me a little bit. So I think probably uh, it may be easier to pull the tie back a little bit, grasp it uh, with your finger or with a screwdriver or something and pry it open. But I'm sure it's something that if you use these ties a lot, you'd uh, figure out an easy way to do it so you wouldn't rip your fingers up. But uh, just a little minor nuisance. Like, like I said, I'm sure it's probably something you'd work through. So when you cut the cable end off, you also cut the little tab that sticks out of there that unlocks the cable tie. When you cut both of those off, in theory, I guess it um, makes it so you cannot unlock the tie. I think you probably still get in there with a screwdriver and unlock it. But what I don't like about this is the same thing I don't like about any square-headed cable tie is it always leaves a little bit of barb on the end. Now, these didn't seem quite as bad as a regular block style zip tie but still not very nice but you know hey that's what you're gonna get with this type of zip tie and, and something that's a reusable one like this I guess it's just kind of the price you pay one thing on these that's also a little different is because that tie is so thick and beefy you cannot use a zip tie gun to crank these down now I don't think you need to with the rubber lining but the tie is physically too big to fit inside the tool so if you want to use this uh, without modifying the tool, you're out of luck. All right, so here's the biggest issue I have with these ties. I bought them about a year and a half ago, maybe, and maybe they're better quality when they're newer, but I noticed after about a year or so, the rubber strips peel away from the inside of the tie from the main part of the cable tie quite easily. You know, maybe it's the age, maybe it's, you know, the way they are, and no matter how old they are, maybe it's just just an issue with them. I, I don't have any idea. I've had two of these ties on my on my trailer wiring that have been exposed to some hot weather here in the Mid-South, you know, humidity, lots of sunlight. They haven't really deteriorated or discolored or anything at a time, but those are still the same way. The, the inside rubber lining pulls away quite easily. So, you know, I'd call that a win, you know, for those ties, you know, because they're, that's pretty harsh, um, an environment that they live in down here, but they still release and function as they did when they were new, but that rubber lining still pulls away from it pretty easily. And that part of it right there, I just, it, I, I just can't get over. I, I, maybe, like I said, maybe it's just, you know, these ties are made for a really, really light duty use interior, you know, nothing really severe. And if you accidentally pull the rubber lining away, then just throw it away and start over. One more little detail on here. These are fairly wide cable ties. So if you're in an area where you're kind of constrained uh, and you need something a little more narrower, a traditional cable tie might be better. Um, these also are come in 8 and 12 inch lengths. So I don't think they offer anything else. Uh, colors on the rubber lining, I think they come in blue, red, and orange. Uh, I'll leave some links down below to uh, the site where I bought these from so you can see the price on everything. And I'll throw a link down below also to the Griplock 
website. So again, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you if you like the video. Please uh, let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks, and we'll be back with another video soon.